Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. We're doing a little bonus episode today about uh, the New Game Plus and Margaret's Battle, which is, well, a New Game Plus thing. And I want to talk a little bit about New Game Plus stuff first before we jump into Margaret's Battle. But if you're just interested in Margaret, then just check the description for timestamps or chapters on the video. And you can just quickly teleport to that. So first things first, let's talk about New Game Plus. If you have beaten the game and you save it, you get this reserve file, which then you can always load this up to start a New Game Plus. And there's a few things that happen during New Game Plus that is of interest. And first of all, first of all, one of the big things that is important is if you go into your character and switch to your info, your stats stay at whatever level they were when you saved the game. So in this case, we had them all maxed out. So we were able to start the game with all of our stats, again, maxed out. This essentially makes it, we don't need to study, we don't need to work on that. Anything that requires a specific skill, we can immediately jump in and take care of. The next thing that goes over from one level, or one save to the next save, is the Persona Compendium. So in this case, we didn't quite finish the Persona Compendium, but everything that we did do is now here. And we can pick up any Persona that we want, including ones that we're not the level for. So if we want to pick up, like so we actually had, well, any of these. Um, if you had, you know, uh, Michael here, who's level 76, or Trumpeter, which is level 78, we can buy these and use them. Now, of course, the problem is going to be the SP usage, because our characters at the low levels do not have those, but we can still get them. And additionally, if you have a uh, persona with a high strength, for example, that will correlate to the character that you're using, like to the, to, the, to the stage that you're using. So um, level, if you're in Yukiko's dungeon and you have a high strength stat and you're using physical attacks, you're probably going to be one-shotting almost all the enemies on the field. Two other things that stick around between saved games is your money. So anything you have, I believe it's your money, anything that you have at the end of the game will roll over into the next game. And additionally, so will any of the weapons, uh, armor, and accessories that you have unlocked. So in this case, we were able to pick up some really good stuff. And that essentially means that whatever kind of strength level attacks that you're going to be doing for physical in the early levels is going to be very, very, well, they're gonna be heavy damage so that's really nice and um, that also means that on your second playthrough anything that you sell will unlock additional stuff which makes it a little bit easier to get the entire inventory if that's one of the things that you're going for nothing else really goes over um, from one save to the other so any books that you've read will not go over any um, social links will not go over you have to do all of those again and any of the quests, again, that doesn't go over, and neither do items. So there are going to be a few things that are kind of annoying, like you do have to redo all of the social links again, you have to reread all the books, but you'll have a lot more time since you don't have to worry about any of your stats, so that's kind of nice. Alright, now let's talk about how to unlock Margaret, because that is an important part of this. The first thing that you have to do is get your social link with Margaret to max, which means you have to do all of the persona fusions that she asks from, I don't remember what the first one is, but all the way up to Trumpeter and max that out. Once you've got that, the other thing you do need to do is go through all of the optional bosses in the dungeon. So on everyone's level, you have to go through a second time and beat the boss at the top in order to do that. Then on the final day, you have to go get the orb of sight. And then right after that, you need to turn around and go back inside the dungeon or inside the velvet room to unlock her invitation. Something is different than usual. You don't see Igor anywhere. Welcome to the velvet room. I wonder how many times it's been that we've seen each other like this. Apparently, we met for a purpose after all. Do you remember? The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and the destiny. But my predecessor is gone from this place for a completely different reason. No one ordered her to leave. She left of her own will to accomplish her own ends. 
Such a thing cannot happen to the residents of the Velvet Room. So I wish to know the reasons behind it. My ultimate aim was to bring that foolish girl to her senses and return her here. To do so, I had to know why she left, and I felt that the key to understanding rested with you. But now, I'm even more confused. I can't say whether her choice in fact was foolish or not. All residents of the Velvet Room are destined to find themselves. It was true for her as well. Why did she suddenly give up on her quest? That was my greatest worry. But then again, maybe my premises were flawed. Maybe she found her answer and so left this place. In which case, my role is not to blindly bring her back. What was it that she gained? And who am I? What I may receive from you will most likely show me the answer to those questions. That is why fate did not bring a guest who only talks, but one who holds unmatched power. I would like to issue a request to you, not as my master's guest, but a personal request from me to you. Would you fight a match against me? I won't force you, of course. There's no reason for you to go that far. After all, if we were to clash, I might sever your thread of destiny. But encounters always bring change to both sides. If you emerge victorious, you will surely gain something as well. Please consider the offer carefully before making your decision. Should you opt to accept my request, bring this to me where I will wait. He received an invitation from Margaret, obtained aqua invitation. It says, I will await you at the ends of heaven. I look forward to seeing you again. Once you've got all that, then you can head back in to find Izanami and uh, start to and actually go back up to top of heaven to beat her. Now the problem with Margaret is that she is level 96 and she attacks twice in a row. She's the hardest boss in this game. So when I originally came back in to fight Izanami, I was really under leveled. I was only level 80 and that's not high enough to beat her. You really do want to be close to max if you can be because she punches quite a bit um, and it hurts. So I went ahead and did some grinding up to level 99 for my characters and that'll be good not only for Margaret but to complete the Persona Compendium because I believe you have to be level 99 to complete the Persona Compendium. And the way I did that is if you go into Naoto's secret laboratory. So here we are on floor 6. And if you go on to floor six and head straight over here, there are three shadows that immediately spawn. And these shadows are guaranteed to spawn. There will be always three of them. One of them is likely to be a gold hand. And a rare then one. Don't let it get away. you want to defeat those three gold hands. Now the way to do this, the best way to do this is to have a character Don't that can soda. lower their defense and then give your main character the heat riser which will increase their attack now i'm guarding because they have a tendency to use a uh, bash like that which can get a crit which will then that would end this battle because they would just run afterwards and i'm not really interested in that and then you want to use the severe almighty damage and this should take all of them out each battle like this i believe gives about 30,000 experience which is essentially enough to throw you very quickly up the... I don't need any of this. <laughs> throw you very quickly up the levels that you need. So yeah, you get 30,000, you get 48,000 yen. So you're going to have a lot of well, money after all of this. So as you can see, we have all those levels. It took me about an hour and a half to two hours to grind from level 80 to 99. It does take a little bit of time to do that, but if you're really interested in actually beating Margaret and not really struggling with that battle, then you're gonna want to do that grinding. If you wanna finish up the Persona Compendium, this seems to be the best way I've found to do it. There are other ways to do some grinding, but overall this worked out great for me. Uh, so as you can see, we're basically at max. My characters are, or my side characters are all one level below. 
but the main character is level 99. So that works out great for us. And you can see, I basically ignored everybody else. Um, when I figured out what party I wanted to use, this is not the best party to be using for this fight, but they each have healing spells, which is why I went for it. And uh, that's just a personal thing. And I think it'll work. I think we'll be fine. Welcome to heaven, and we're going to be heading after Margaret today. I've gone ahead and gone all the way up to the 10, level 10 anyway, and now we are here to fight Margaret. I love the fact that this is nighttime when we go to fight her. I believe it is daytime here usually, but nope, it's nighttime now. So you've come. I spoke to my master after you left. It seems my predecessor also requested a duel from our last guest. Serious question here, is this a different voice actor? I feel like uh, for the most part, it's the same voice actor, but occasionally she's got lines and I'm just like, that's not the same voice. Though there's no way of knowing whether the boy took her up on the offer. <laughs> I called her foolish, but it seems we are kin indeed. I don't like are it. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, we're ready. Ready as, as we're gonna be. Who rules over power, I will fight with the utmost deference to you. Show me what lies beyond a mere exchange of words. There's like a 50% chance we're gonna get our asses handed to us, so this should be fun. I am charged with the heat and tension of battle. Now we begin. Don't disappoint me. Huh? Wasn't she a... Uh... What the... She's floating? Her power level is insane! Don't tell me you're going to fight her! Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about a little bit what we want to do to start off with. We want to get debilitate honor. We want to get moving is one of the biggest things here. Um, she she's pretty tough. She's really tough. This isn't the best party for this. Um, I think like she and some other folks have much better skills in order to assist us. But uh, for now, this is the only thing we have. So. I want to boost everyone first things first, and then I want to go ahead and start pounding on her. Now, she should be using attack, like basic attacks. This guy, ow, attacks to be kin with. Really? That's what we're going to get. And debilitate flash for three turns, but she does two turns in a row, so it's going to wear off rather quickly. Um, but we want to make sure that we keep that we keep that on her because of the attack and defense. Uh, like keeping that down um, and we want to keep our attack up on our party so we do more damage and we need to do a lot of damage very rapidly this battle is long okay so far so good we're gonna go ahead and get another debilitate on her again Uh, let's go ahead and get an attack up for the entire party. Make sure we keep that on here. Now, if you do have like power charge or mind charge, power, is that power charge? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it can actually be really, really useful here to use that in this battle. It's not, it's like one of the only battles actually that I would actually use power charge or mind charge. I don't have that. Um, and I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but you're definitely gonna wanna use that if you got it. Now, one of the other things that you don't wanna use is if you've got anything to would block all attacks, like repel all attacks on your entire party, you wanna not use that. I believe if you use that, she will do a one shot attack. Oh, right. That was not, I need to pay attention here. When she uses a skill, she will then drain that skill afterwards. So I just completely added an extra round onto this. Like now she's gonna be, she will drain electricity. And then when she uses divine vacuum, she will drain uh, wind. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, what was I saying? Um. Right, so like I think Naoto has like a repel all attacks. As you can see here, we don't want to use that. Um, repel all attacks. And you want to make sure you don't use that because then she will just do a one shot. Uh, I think 
attack that does 9,999 damage, and we'll take you down. So don't don't do that. Just watch. Now the other thing that she now every four turns she's gonna do this, and then she's gonna use an almighty attack. And I guess five turns. I don't know. It's not bad for us. Like we're gonna be okay. It's not until she gets to the power charge that we're gonna have problems. So we need to be really careful when we come back around to that. Feel that mighty wind! There's a lot going on in this battle. Um, basic strategy is to deal as much damage as rapidly as possible. So that is one of the reasons why I am using the attack boost and keeping the debilitate on her. If you can use charge, use charge. Um, she's going to heal herself and she's generally going to be an ass about it. Uh, about halfway through her hit points. Uh, additionally, at 50 turns Don't and 100 down. turns, so she will use a one-shot... Oh, crap. Are you me? Are you okay? She's gonna use a one-shot attack that will do 9,999 damage. There's nothing you can do to guard against it. You're just gonna go down. If you've got Risei's stuff maxed out, she will... Well, it'll be good, so make sure... Make sure you do that. Um, we're not going to be using... Oh, yes, we are going to be using ice. So... Uh, let's go ahead and have Teddy heal. No, we're not. We don't really need it, but it helps. Come, Kozeon! Ooh, we got the charge up in focus, which was I was hoping for, actually. And you'll see why. Yeah, the same really doing like uh, almost 700 points of damage. Senpai. Man, oh man. Now the good thing is uh, she hit Yosuke, so that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use mind charge. We don't need to worry about that at this point, so it's kind of a whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, she's mind charge. We can't actually do anything when she's mind charge, so I just totally wasted that attack. That is okay. Let's go ahead and use a full wind to get our main character healed up and also get that hit invasion rate up. Don't worry, the power charge and stuff doesn't fade, so it's not, not necessary to use it right off the bat. Actually, we have um, we have items that we can get. Yeah, this one right here, not what we want to use. Uh, somewhere in here, we've got like diamond shield and stuff. Um. You know what? We're okay for now. I'm gonna have her guard. We're gonna save those Don't defense boosts until... Until we get to the second half of this battle. Really? Kiko's the only one that hit. That's funny. Alright, well, um, since we went ahead and wasted the first one, uh, let's go ahead and just use this. We're probably gonna wear off that debilitate, but it should be okay. Nice attack. Alright. Let's use a wing. Persona! I'm gonna go ahead and use an ice, and then we're gonna have Yukiko guard because she's gonna be doing an ice attack, and I would really like Yukiko to stay standing. I'll tell you now. Discard any concern you may have for me. You will honor me by fighting as though you mean to kill. To hold back would be nothing short of insulting. Does it look like I'm holding back? This is not good if it looks like I'm holding back. Alright, I'm really hoping this doesn't work. Thank goodness. Alright. I think we're still charged up for physical attacks, are we not? Um, okay, we're okay. Persona! Now one of the interesting things that often happens here is I've had... Okay, defense increase is nice. I've had her in the past just start like kind of layering on the charge. So it's like, charge! Okay, next turn, charge again! Well, I haven't used up all my charge. It's really annoying. And um, it can be kind of frustrating because you're kind of like, I want to use up my charge before you charge me up again. And 
Yeah, that's a that's a no go. Alright, let's go to use you here. Get that hit and evasion up. I want that to be on me the entire time, if we can. Go ahead and get the attack boost back up there. Now, Kiko's got nothing to do here, so just we'll just go ahead and guard. She is actually probably a better character to bring on this, but obviously I didn't uh, level her up enough. I guess I can go back and do that if I really want to. Like, it wouldn't take that long, uh, but I didn't do that, so. Really, just Teddy? Now, currently she should be draining fire. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Counting on you. Uh, I want to heal Teddy because if she decides to turn on him and use electricity, it's gonna hurt. So, just watch. Yeah, there's the ice attack that I knew she was gonna do. She is gonna turn on Teddy. I knew it. Next time she's gonna use the mind charge and the uh, other one. Um, this is your physical attack. Get okay, up. we're good. Uh, we're oh no, because we can't quite do that. Let's go ahead and heal because we don't. I mean, we rat might as well heal. I would prefer that over attacking for this right now. Let's go ahead and use this. She's getting really close to 50%, which is going to change what happens in like a half a second here. If this actually happens. Are you going to charge me again, or are you going to be or what is happening here? Oh, nice. Probably wise. Okay, so she's going to do this. Withstand this! Okay. Now, I think we can use uh, physical attacks to bring her down, which is what I want. There's a reason I want her to, or him to heal everybody. Because she should be doing something here that's going to be annoying. Let me go ahead and guard anyway. I guess we're not quite there yet. I don't think there's a way to Just dodge watch. through this either, so it's not like a... Okay, I'm gonna to debilitate you. So I'm kind of confused. You should be using a specific thing. It's just, just like, nah. You got better things to do this time around. Uh, physical attack? Another physical attack? How long has it been since I felt this invigorated? My apologies, but I'm even more eager to defeat you now. Okay, so she's gonna use Morningstar here, which is gonna hurt like, like bad. I think she'll only use it this once, if I remember correctly. And then she's gonna heal herself. And this is the only time she does this, it's gonna be a one-off thing. Um. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, we now need to start really um, counting on her. And I want to make sure we got our attack up and everything, because we get to start over from, yeah, from scratch. <laughs> what a pain! I can't even with this sometimes. So she's going to revert back to using uh, just basically physical attacks, because we're back at the top. We are back at square one. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and use fire. And she's gonna be resisting it the entire time. So screw us, I guess. Let's go ahead and um I think we're okay right now for the whole debilitate stuff. We had like a ice break or fire break. You could probably use that if you really it's wanted over. to. I don't tend to keep those skills because, for the most part, in the rest of the game, it don't matter. 
Like, it's not really all that important. Ow, can you not? Persona! Okay, back on there. Kill again. Cozy on. You wanna give me some SP? Attack boost. Yeah. The SP is gonna be a thing. I probably want to use a Soma at some point in time. Maybe in the next round after she's decided to do some damage against us. Um, so that uh, Rise does not focus on giving us SP and instead focuses on some of the other boots. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna start at Thunder Rain, huh? That seems weird. All right, so she's gonna use Almighty, so I don't really care at this point. Uh, but we can't really do anything else at this because she's guarding, like she knows all of the attacks at the, at right now. So You're let's just go ahead pay, and heal, get some boosts on us. Um, let's go ahead and use Heal again. We took a little bit of damage, not enough to really warrant healing, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and use this. Down. Okay, so she actually hit that time. Impressive. Like, most of the group. Alright, well, now that we have that, let's go ahead and just keep, keep on keeping on. We're gonna go ahead and just do that. We should be okay. Don't let me down. I don't think most bosses are like weak to anything like a panic or anything like that. So that is kind of a kind of a thing. You can't use in these bosses. I actually really enjoy games that sometimes bosses are actually like weak to, you know, various, um, just various attack or various status ailments. It's funny to me. Who do you think you are? Uh, right, so currently draining wind. Let's go ahead and have you use a Soma. Um, not really necessary at the moment, but I do want to use it to get everybody's SP off. I'm going to try and hope to push Rise into charging us or giving us other boosts. And defense up also works. I'm cool with that. Just watch. Just watch. Okay. Let's make sure we got the debilitate on there because that would suck otherwise. He's gonna use fire and ice next. We're doing okay and we still haven't hit the point where we have not hit the halfway point of this battle yet. So that's good. Don't, Don't worry, we'll know when that hits. Withstand this. Is that Loki? I think that's Loki. Alright, let's go ahead and sort of her. We need to get our attack back up. Make sure we do that here in a moment. We will heal up. I uh, think we'll be okay. It's over. Just watch. All right. That's the halfway point. And you notice that Rise blocked all those attacks. That is because that particular attack will do 9,999 points of damage. And there is no dodging it either, which I think is like the worst part of that. That means that she has done 50 rounds that is at her 50 point 
Um, which is actually, I guess, 25 rounds <laughs> since, uh, you know, um, how this all works. But that essentially means we are halfway through the battle. We need to get moving. Um, at 100, she will do it again. I think our main character can survive that. But I would really, really prefer to not have to deal with that if we don't have to. All right, let's get... It's over! Yeah, she's gonna use wind, and then she's going to use mind charge, which means she's going to be like we, we can't hit her at this point. So let's go ahead and heal up, get all of our bonuses back up, and get ready to go. Feel that mighty wind! Thinking about it, I think if I had done this differently, I would have brought Chie and Kanji. I think Kanji's got some good boosts that we could use. But the party that we're currently using isn't as great as, uh, you know, some of the other groups, some of the other parties I've used for things. Okay. Hey, ow. Yeah, we're Are you okay? we're okay. Let's go ahead and use a special attack here. Senpai, you're low on health. Be careful. Um, not worried about it, but thank you. I do want to get? Uh, actually. I want to have Teddy heal because I want Kiko to guard. It, it's bad enough having one person Just go down one. and her get the plus one, but um, it's even worse when it's twice in a row. Like, if we could avoid that, that would be absolutely ideal. We're almost to the halfway point, which is she's going to change her pattern of attack once we get to the halfway point. She's going to give me a defense bonus. Nice. Um... Yeah, and her halfway point is kind of a pain, so let's go ahead and do all of this. Okay, so she's gonna use. I don't think we're quite at half. It's hard to tell on the tiny little bar. Just right, We're not quite there because we use mind charge. Let's go ahead and use all of our buffs, debuffs, whatnot to keep those up for a little bit. We're getting so close to her switching, Let and the uh, blow! we should be okay. I think we'll get there before turn 100. If not, we're gonna make this a little bit more interesting. To be honest, I did not do a run through about this before doing this. Normally, I do boss battles like this prior to actually running through the boss battle. I mean, I've beaten her before, so it's, you know, um, I'm not terribly surprised. But. uh... Normally, I'll see the boss and then Just I will come back and actually record beating the boss. I did not do that with this. I don't know. Say what you will. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't know if we used our event attack this turn. Looks like we didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep on, keep on here. Guard. Don't let me down. Withstand this. Nice. All right. Love the fact that we just keep dodging. <laughs> Love it. Hey, okay, what are you doing? Charge up and focus. Beautiful. That was gonna push us through here real quick. Throw down. Persona. Which is what I'm looking for. I'm really looking to, at this point, keep pushing, pushing through, and we're doing pretty well here. Now she's gonna use uh, divine vacuum. How marvelous! Even Elizabeth never backed me this far into a corner. Uh, real quick here, if you've never played Persona 3, Elizabeth is her 
sister who lived inside the Velvet Room in Persona 3. Now show me. Show me what lies beyond battles. Don't let me down. All right, so she's gonna use Divine back in here. And Don't then she's going to switch to Power Charge. Power Charge! Uh, this is the one that's a problem. The entire group needs to guard. She can still take me down while I'm guarding, by the way. If you have a persona that absorbs... Oh, that hurt. That absorbs physical would be really good to have here. Nice, thank you. Uh, I don't think I have a person on me that does that, but yeah, the, that one's uh, actually really, really- Oh, I do! Siegfried! I could- that actually might be worth doing um, when she does that is to switch over to a different persona in order to survive that attack. It is a nasty attack. And the chances of your main character going down during that, as you saw how much damage that did, um, I've been wiped out from that attack before, even fully protected. Not with Persona, like, Null or Repel, but just, uh, like, uh, having, uh, you know, defense up, her attack down, like, I've still got my ass handed to me. So! Where is that? Uh, I think we're okay. Let's just go ahead and get this pull back here, because we're still charged up. Oops! Well, that's gonna make this interesting. Please dodge. Just <laughs> watch. Also, you too. Please dodge. Okay, that actually is nice. Uh, she's gonna use divine vacuum again. Um, you're still charged up, right? So. She's starting to sag. Hurl Ray. It's over. Fire. It's uh, seventy-five percent of the way through Just the battle. Watch. Okay, so she's gonna use Divine Vacuum. Let's find out if that works. Just watch. So she's gonna use Power Charge. Let's go ahead and, um, this could screw us over later. Let's go ahead and switch to Siegfried. And, uh, we really don't have, oh, what do we have here? Oh, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Uh, let's go ahead and raise our defense. Sure, why not? Go ahead and use Evil Wind to heal us up the whole, the whole way. Also get our hit invasion up. Though I think we will have that through the end, <laughs> to the end of this, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and increase our attack. This is... Oh no. No, 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 no. It was really bad. I should have had a big guard, to be honest. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they all survived because everybody everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Honestly, it was well worth it. Ooh, we're charged up and focused again. Okay, so she's gonna use fire, which I don't think will affect uh anybody. Okay, let's switch back to Trumpeter. And let's go ahead and use debilitate. Because, ow, can you not? We are charged up and focused. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is have Teddy heal this time around because I want the full heal and I want Kiko to guard because of the ice attack that she's gonna use. Don't let me down. Okay, so they're gonna use this move. Okay, cool. So that actually helps. Um, gonna use another debilitate here. We could probably use the damage a little bit more. But one of the things that I'm actually concerned about is... The next attack that she's gonna do. Let's get off here. We're so close! Can you stop us? Okay, so Just we're gonna use the power charge again. And what we're gonna do, as we've done, 
go ahead and switch Persona back to Seed Seed, right? Yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use... Um, did I only have one of those? Well, that's nonsense. Well, let's see. We can... Let's go ahead and increase everybody's attack. Because we're going to have everybody else just guard here. Guard. And guard. And cart. And hopefully, we will survive this. This is such a nasty attack. I hate that attack. And she's going to use... I think she's going to continue back to Providence. She should have a little bit of a shift at some point in the time. Come, Koseon! Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Yes, 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 it is. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, we're really close here. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Let's go ahead and have. These are physical. Uh, let's go ahead and have this. I'm gonna really hope that we miss on the whole thunder rain thing again, because otherwise we're gonna be really trapped here. I should have used ability. Don't let me down. Let's turn. Don't let me down. More. Please miss. Shit. Okay, so she's gonna use Divine Vacuum, and that means this turn we need to guard and or switch Persona, <laughs> because she's gonna go, um, she's, she's just gonna go. Let's go ahead and just uh, do a physical attack then. Oh, we won, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Hooray. Woo. While we were fighting, I recalled the fairy tale that girl told me once. I think she's talking about Elizabeth. Before that girl left, she told me this. A soul slumbers at the ends of the world. That of a young man who devoted himself to becoming a seal. This is the Persona 3 uh, story. That soul is risking itself to prevent mankind, who has lost the joy of living, from calling down ultimate destruction. She told me that she was going to save him from that fate. To tell the truth, I wondered what sort of nonsense she was speaking. But no, she was serious. She said if she couldn't do it alone, she would combine her powers with those who bonded with that soul to enact a miracle. Maybe all that she said was the truth. And that was her reason for leaving the Velvet Room. I would love to see like a, an extended version of Persona 3. Um, or like a sequel to that where we revisit Nyx. I don't know. She must have come to realize what I now understand. You, a human, one against me, one who rules over power. You have shown me one's potential. Those who search for themselves are no one as long as the search continues. It is an emptiness, but limitless potential. It means the seeker can choose to be anything he or she wishes. That's why she made a choice. I had planned to bring her back by force, but I won't interfere with her anymore. I think out of the, the three siblings, Margaret's the strongest, and Elizabeth and Theodore, who's only available in Persona 3 Portable if you play the female character, um, are equal matched, but yeah, Margaret's much, much more powerful than them, and uh, yeah, oh well. Her wish seems staggering to contemplate, but fortunately the chains of time are loose for us residents. Even if there isn't time enough in a single era and it takes her eons, she will accomplish her mission. Yeah, so uh, for the record, the residents of the, the Velvet Room are not human, even though they look human, so they don't age. This boy she took such a fancy to. <laughs> I'm somewhat curious as to what kind of human he must be. Kind of Your lifeless, victory honestly. was truly amazing, and I must thank you. Of all the humans I've encountered until now, you shook my soul the most. This is proof of my reverence. Please accept it. All right, and so she gives us the spiral bookmark. With that much power and will, you can overcome 
any obstacle. Should you ever run up against your limits and feel you cannot overcome your boundaries, you'd be lying to yourself. Simply recall today's victory. There's no need to worry. Uh. Even if you should lose everything, your soul will not be isolated. And if that does happen, just as she did for the other boy, I shall do for you. I hate the voice change. Stop it. Well then, I will return to the Velvet Room and take up my original duties. Let us meet again. Hooray! We won, and uh, there, there, there's, there's a cliff. This is all there is. There's a cliff over there. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing over here. Where did she go? Anyway, so that basically, uh, that is the last boss of the game. Hooray! We beat it. Uh, at this point in the game, if you wanted to go through and meet Izanami again, you could. I'm going to complete all the remaining achievement stuff off screen. I'm not going to show that off to you guys. I'm going to go into the Velvet Room, finish up all the Persona Compendium stuff. I've got like seven or eight more to go, including, oh, well, actually, one of the things that I didn't really address earlier is we can now actually fuse... Uh, Izanagi no Akami and keep that um, for, you know, reasons. And um, yeah, level 91 and like Lucifer's level 93. So you have to be level 93 to complete all of the persona. So there you go. That's really the last thing that I have to do. I'm not going to do that on screen. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the battle with Margaret. It's a pain in the ass but hopefully with some of the stuff that you saw you can maybe win that battle and i will see you all in another series this is this is it for persona 4 i don't think i'm going to be touching this series again i beat it to a pulp after doing it twice um i have considered going back to persona 3 and doing the male protagonist doing probably the fez version so i could do the epilogue stuff but that's a long time coming i'm not touching anything else with this game in particular again but maybe persona 3 maybe persona 5 because there are some stuff that i did not complete in that game including some of the e extra battle stuff but whatever i'm here i did this i'll see you all next time in a different series 